Michael Anker, Amit went through all the top stories published in the newspapers here in Delhi and he has summarized the headlines for you recorded in this press review a short while back in the newsroom. Morning. Silencing his critics, Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh has dared team Anna to prove the corruption charges against him. Interestingly, the Times of India headlines will quit if Colgate charges against me are proved minister. The paper down below also has got another headline. Ministry of Home Affairs shifts Delhi Babus and that has certainly upset the Delhi Chief Minister. The Asian Age carries an interesting picture of Dr. Manmohan Singh shaking hands during an interaction with the media in Rangoon, shaking hands with Suchi. Dr. Singh has also extended an invitation to her to visit India. The Hindu carries the headlines, Centre to go in appeal against minorities sub quota ruling. Quashing of reservation by Andhra Pradesh High Court shocks Muslim IIT aspirants. The same paper also has got a headline about the trouble that's brewing up for the Odisha Chief Minister. As it headlines, Naveen faces trouble as three ministers, 25 MLAs raise banner of revolt. The Indian Express has got uh, two interesting headlines. On one side, it says, sometimes silence is golden. Prime Minister Manmohan Singh on Army Chief General V.K. Singh's allegations against Defence Ministry carries the picture of the chief who will retire tomorrow. And on the other side of the paper, it carries the picture of Lieutenant General Bikram Singh, who is the chief designate, as uh, it quotes, need to put army back on track, will not brush anything under the carpet. The Hindustan Times has got a couple of uh, stories. One, Daud's four addresses given to Pakistan. India has handed over to Pakistan a list of four precise coordinates with locations and addresses of Daud Ibrahim. And finally, look at this picture in the Hindustan Times. Look who's claiming victory for the IPL Season 5. None other than the West Bengal Chief Minister, Mamata Banerjee. A big felicitation function was organized yesterday at the Eden Gardens. And the paper says the show stealer was Mamata Banerjee, where she was the compare, hostess and the cheerleader. Back to the studios. Welcome back. And now for a discussion on the newspaper headlines published from the National Capital, New Delhi. We have with us in our studio, senior journalist K.B. Prasad. Mr. Prasad, a very good morning. Good morning, good morning and welcome to the show. Let's Thank begin you. with the story on Odisha. How big, how serious is the revolt? Do you think it's very planned? The Chief Minister away in London and the dissident are mustering not only support within BJT but from Congress and NCP as well as our correspondent was indicating. Well, the timing is certainly uh, important and uh, as Mr. Na Naveen Patnaik travelling to London on his work, uh, the rebels so, or those who are disgruntled have decided to regroup. That appears the case as your story indicated and is led by Mr. Pyari Mah Mahapatra who is a Raj Sabha MP and a close confidant of Mr. Patnaik for this last one decade. And he's also been described as a key strategist and uh, close uh, person who understands. So I guess it's, uh, it's something that you need to keep a close watch on. Only question is of numbers because the early indications are about 25 plus MLAs and a couple of MPs. Of course, you also heard the rival or supporters of Naveen Patnai coming in saying on this television that it's not so. So I guess there is some uh, turbulence that's happening there. And if Ms. Naveen Patnai has expressed seriousness, so uh, if, is, if one has to see if he's going to cut short his and come back as your ind yes. uh, correspondent indicated or if he's going to continue to June 1 when he's scheduled to return. Yes. So this will be a very clear pointer. But certainly, uh, this is not the first time. This happened uh, 10 years ago when uh, you had a couple of uh, people who are on the television screen today who tried to regroup and there was a break in the parliamentary party in Delhi. But that really didn't, that fizzled out. Uh, it was not uh, a serious challenge. Uh, we'll have to wait and watch. All right, we'll have to wait and watch. But then Hindustan Times comes out with a very, uh, with a statement of the Prime Minister yesterday. I will resign if charges are proved. Manmohan tells Team Anna. A very emotional and a very firm response has been put forth by Dr. Manmohan Singh. How do you read the allegations which were put forth by Team, uh, team Anna? I'll quote one of the editorials in the paper. It has called it a cheap shot. Well, the fact remains, uh, the allegations uh, sprung up from what was supposed to be the CAG's uh, uh, report that was carried by a section of the media. Uh, so, but then the, the way in which the allegations were cast uh, or uh, hurled at obviously has not uh, really gone down well with many people. And with the Prime Minister who enjoys a very clean reputation, a clean image, coming out in an unusually combative kind of a statement. One paper talked him unusually aggressive and the people talked of his being uh, emotional as something which you said. Mm -hmm. So in between two, you're very clear that Prime Minister and his, he's come 
he says his conscience is clear his life is an open book for people to judge so that's a, a so it's a welcome it's a welcome it's a reaction. statement which talks of assurance it, it uh, from a person who's assured that he has not done nothing wrong and especially so because this uh, report of cag or purported report which has not yet been come uh, in public domain uh, in the sense it's not been placed in parliament uh, talks of the allocation of Would coal blocks. Would you say that here team, the time. team Anna is somewhat in disarray because we've seen Santosh Hegre also distancing himself from the statement put forth uh, and Anna Hazare also, uh, also indicating that Prime Minister is an honest man and on the contrary we've seen the team members say that he could not read uh, the English statement so perhaps he's not got the sense of it. How do you uh, See between April 2011 when uh, Anna Hazare sat on Dharma in Delhi and he's got off a whole lot of support of people that support base has dwindled mm -hmm. for, including if you saw what into Mumbai it has not been the same uh, for various reasons there have been accusations and counter accusations, charges being hurled from one side of the camp to the another side, reports, a lot of things have come. So obviously the team announced uh, the thrust which was against campaign and corruption has taken some, uh, the, has taken a dent. I, uh, that's what I believe. Right. Uh, and Mr. Santosh Hagde coming out openly and in fact uh, several parties have uh, also criticized the manner in which the Prime Minister's office or Prime Minister mm -hmm. himself has been accused right. of. Accused. Right. Let's uh, also see other pictures in the papers today. Prime Minister shaking hands with the pro-democracy leader Aung San Suu Kyi. Do you think the, uh, the visit to Myanmar was historic and now the invitation to her to come to India? Absolutely. This is uh, some papers have read it as India trying to correct its position or trying to uh, reach out to a leader who was uh, in Delhi for a long time and had uh, a very strong connections with India. But in, a, in, in the interim, due to the uh, geopolitical situation and strategic reasons for whatever, uh, India's uh, stance. But I think uh, Aung San Suu Kyi, the way it has been reported, uh, she, received, she was received very warmly by the Prime Minister and extended an invitation to come and talk of, of, uh, on the Jawaharlal Nehru lecture. So that's a, it's a sign that mature democracy works together. Now that you're talking of democracy, very quickly we'll talk of the Syrian situation. A number of international countries have expelled Syria uh, uh, when we talk of the uh, Hala massacre and we've seen different approaches put forth by US and uh, France there. What next for Syria? Where do we see this crisis heading given the fact that the peace plan put forth by Kofi Annan is somewhat proven to be futile? Yeah, I think that was the last ditch effort that uh, Kofi Annan has launched and you've heard mm -hmm. him television just a few minutes ago say what he did. But the U.S. clearly differs with the line of action, so that's very interesting because uh, U.S. and U normally in these regions you have seen U.S. and Europe work work in tandem. Whether it was Lebanon, you know, I'm sorry, recently in other parts of uh, Arab areas, but now in uh, in the African area when you're getting in this kind of situation, and in Syria now uh, there's a difference of opinion. We'll have, I, I mean, this is the reason why because uh, the Europeans. The France has almost indicated that it's willing to go and strike. Right. Mm -hmm. so, so no wait and watch there as far as Syria is concerned. Wait and watch for Odisha. Though KV Prasad, thank you very much for thank joining us. Thank you very us. much. Thank you. All right. That brings us to the end of this show, Amit. Yes. And if you have any suggestions, you can, of course, uh, write to us at breakfastnews at td.nic.in. And for all the latest news and updates, you can always log on to our website, www.tdinews.gov.in. All right, that was into this edition of the show this morning. But before we leave, we'll show you some glimpses of one of the most beautiful and precious diamonds in the world. Mm -hmm.